angular, simple, harmonic motion. Omega here is equal to the square root of chi. Chi, this is not k. Chi, screen. Chi over what? Over i. This is the unit of t square. So this term should be the unit of t square. And this term should be the unit of t squared. This is the regular things. So actually this represent, I will substitute it as t naught squared. If I put between t squared and this is in second squared and here I will keep m because I will not change here the m I mean the mass of this value I will keep m the same I will not change the m so as you see here this is 8 pi squared m over chi all of this is what is constant with r squared I will change r because sometimes I put it here in 30, sometimes I put it here in 25. You can measure it actually, it's each degree here is 5 cm. Each scratch here is 5 cm. And then I can put it here in 20, and then on 15 cm, then 10, then 5. So I will change up. So I will put between t square and what? And r square, and this is the unit of r square should be what? Meter square. Good. Positive. So let's say this is t naught square. So I will get like this. Like this relation. And this relation. The slope of this relation. What's the unit of this slope? S squared over M squared. Now I want to find what? I want to find chi. So chi is what? Here. I know slope is equal to this one. Right? So chi will equal 8 pi squared M over what? Sure, sure. Over this. I will give you M, and actually M here, just write down this, M here is 0 0.240 kilogram. Expected what? Chi, I will write it here. Chi, expected is equal to 0.023 Newton per meter. Now this is what this guy it's calculated value. Then give me the percentage error. You have the expected value. But we show your result. If you if you did your experiment good, your result will be more accurate than this. One is 
23.97. Have a seat. 23.97. T for the hollow body is greater than the T for the solid body. Why? Because the moment of inertia of this is greater than the moment of inertia of this with the same mass. Because this is the same mass. Okay, because the moment of inertia is equal to something mr squared. Right? I have the same R, same mass, but this is the this is one mr squared and this is half mr squared. So the moment of inertia of this greater than the moment of inertia of this, and this is giving me more time here than here. I will get I from this question. I will measure T now and we will have K from the experiment. So the angle and is what? Is I. So find I, substitute it here and give me N. And I will measure it only for one time. So we don't have time. So, so, so I will start now. 3, 2, 1, 0. 1. It's 10.44. T is equal to 10.44 divided on 5 seconds. 